Pottery Barn just launched a curated group of colors. It's a partnership with Sherwin-Williams, and they put this out every now and then. The last one was in the spring. This one is supposed to take us from fall through winter. It matches their design style for that period, but to me, it's sort of an infinitely casual and elegant palette of colors that goes along with that Pottery Barn way. This video will briefly explore every color in the palette. Snowbound is one of my favorites. First of all, the name does say it all. It makes a room feel cool and refreshing. It does have that way of looking like a ski chalet, but I feel it could also work in the summer, like in this photo here. Um, I think that you know, we're saying color and a white tone isn't really a color, but it can have its own personality. And I like this one the best out of all of the neutrals. We can expect most color palettes at the moment to have a very dark gray, almost black, but leave it to Pottery Barn to take this concept and rather than having it in modern rooms, have it become something that looks more comfortable and casual by adding a brown tone to it. It's really lovely. Downing Earth lives up to its name. It's very earthy. It's as if the grass and dirt married each other and had a beautiful little paint baby. Uh, this Downing Earth is sort of a warm feeling. It envelopes you in that lake house vibe, maybe lodge vibe, um, but it could go with a lot of different styles and it just feels very deep and lovely. Truly Taupe is a grayish tan with a little bit of pink blush on it. It's a neutral, and it's a little bit of a new twist on the neutral palette. So if you don't want to go grayish, and you're not ready to go totally tan, you might want to go the route of Truly Taupe. Navel Blue is a really gorgeous navy blue. It has a little bit of a chalky flavor to it, and it looks great in that preppy sort of atmosphere, something nice for a young boy's room, but also for your front door, and really pretty for that modern farmhouse look, but also it would look great in a contemporary atmosphere, or here it's showing glam, which has nothing to do with Pottery Barn, but I couldn't find a lot of examples of it in their materials. Windsor Grage is going to get you where you want to go, whether your furniture has tan tones or if it has gray. You can decorate in so many different styles using this color. It's one of those colors that if you have to paint and you haven't had time to make a decision, throw it up on the walls, and when you decorate, it will work with whatever you choose. Pure white is the brightest white in this color palette. This would typically be used for uh, moldings and things like that, but if you do use this color, you're looking for a very severe choice. You must be intentional about it because it will be so bright and it's way too bright for a room that has a lot of windows in it. But um, it's really a, a bold choice and it could look super modern. Realist beige is a cool beige. It does remind me of the coastal grandmother look. And to me, this is so Pottery Barn, like Pottery Barn exemplified. Pewter cast is a real statement gray. It's a medium gray, so you're really gonna feel that cool feeling when you have it in a room. I think it would work really well in an office. Modern gray is a lot easier on the eye than a lot of the white colors that we saw, and it's one of those things, a grayish, that can go in any direction of design that you wanna go. Modern white has that creamy look. You can take it in those boho and Scandinavian directions. You can have a classic French look with this. It's just a really nice, comforting white on the eye. Jubilee is one of the more fun colors in this palette. It's a blue that has a hint of lavender and gray. It looks nice in a casual setting, but I think the best use of this color is in a more elegant and traditional room, one with a lot of moldings like it's shown here. I also envision it in a room that has a bit of a French flair that's not shown. And then of course, a light blue is always great for a kid's room and a powder room. 
I'll show you two beige colors in the palette in a row. This one is the lighter of the two. Balanced beige is just that. It's kind of a balance between a warm and a cool, and it also is just brings balance to the room. It's just very neutral, kind of a nothingness that makes your furniture more of the impact. Sands of Time is the darker of the two. It's a little bolder. They didn't use this much in their photos, so I had to simulate some looks of it. Uh, but I think this does have a richer feel, a little bit more warm, a little bit more autumnal. And even though it does look like that coastal thing, I showed you this coastal look to see that it doesn't quite match that. It's just a little too dark for that. Alabaster is a very serene white. It is easy on the eye. In a room with a lot of sunlight, it's not too bright, but then when there isn't a ton of sunlight at the moment in the room, you can still read very easily, and it just makes the room have a nice, sweet glow. Repose Gray has a hint of green. It's that sort of look that's very calming. It reminds me of the gray-green that they used in elementary schools uh, way back when they wanted to make sure kids were calm. I think that it's a beautiful color for a bedroom. Painting Foxy on your walls is like splashing autumn right into the room. I think that this is a bold choice and it's beautiful in particular settings. Pottery Barn did not use this as an example in any of their photos, so again, I had to simulate some looks for it. But I think this is really warm. Uh, it's like a warm embrace on an autumnal afternoon. Connected Gray is a cool mossy green color in my opinion. So I think this color would be really beautiful in a family room, an office, maybe in a kid's playroom, also in a room that has a lot of sunlight that you do need to tone down a bit. It looks a bit like a neutral even though it's a color. Totally Tan reminds me of that feeling of a wool cashmere camel colored coat, kind of a warm vibe to it. This Totally Tan color can work in a lot of different designs, but the one thing it can do for sure is pull any room and all of its elements together. Here's Auger Shell, and I'm comparing it to a former color, Truly Taupe. As you can see, it's a lot more purple. This is definitely a bold choice, and if you have pink tones in your skin, I think you won't look great in this room without makeup. I know it's a weird observation, but you can try it and let me know if it's true. Thank you for watching the Happiest Places Home exploration of the Pottery Barn color palette. I hope you enjoyed this video. We would love to see you here again sometime. So if you have a moment, please subscribe and hit that notification button so that you'll be notified every time we put out a video. So hope to see you soon and don't forget to comment. Let us know what your favorite color was today.